So let's say you are given an array of integers and you need to return the indices of two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. This problem is extremely common found in many, many technical interviews, and it's also called two sum by leak code. So let's get started and pseudocode this first. Okay, so we have our given array and we have our target number. And we know from the instructions that there is only one pair of numbers in the given array when added together equal our target of nine. So what is the most efficient way we can do this with only one for loop? Start off, we need to create a new map. And this is because we need to keep track of some key value pairs. You'll see why in a moment. So let's start with a for loop. So just like any other for loop, let's set an iterator to zero. And let's say iterator is less than length. Iterator plus plus. And now we need to find the complement number because the method here is we are going to search every time we touch, we iterate over a number in the array, we want to find its complement number in our map. Hang with me here because this problem is, um, it's almost, you have to do it backwards. So we know that the complement is going to equal to the target minus our number. And number is just going to be, or sorry, num, is just going to be array at position i. So this is where it's going to get confusing. We're going to ask if the map contains our um, complement number, then we know our result. OK. So this. Now, this is where it's going to make a little bit more sense. If the map does not contain the complement, we are going to add the number and the iterator to the map. So let's, let's walk through this together. So let's say we are at position 0 and our number is 1. So we know that the complement is going to be 8, and our map is empty right now. I'm going to put the map right here. We know it's empty. So we are going to add the number and the iterator into the map. So we have our number and our iterator, our position, sorry. So let's go to 2. We know that the complement is going to be 7. But our map does not have a complement in it. We don't have 7 in our map. So we are going to add our number and our iterator to the map. And let's go to 5. We know the complement is 4. And the map does not contain 4 as a key value. So we are going to add 5, position 2. To our map. Now let's go to 7. So our complement is 2 and there it is. We have 2 in our map and we have the position of 2 in our map. So we know that i is going to be position at of, of 7. So i is th currently 3 and we know right here that the position of 2 is 1 we're going to say, we we'll also call it 1. So we know that the result is going to be 1, 3. All right, now let's actually write some code. The first thing we need to do is declare some variables. So we're going to create just an empty results array. And this is where we're going to create that map we're talking about. 
So we're just going to call it um, number. It's going to be just number and index. So we're going to call it num index. And we're going to make that a new map. All right, let's start on our for loop. So we're going to do for var i equals zero, i is less than array dot length i plus plus. And this is where, uh, for simplicity's sake, let's make a variable called num and let's make that equal to array at position i. And this is also where we're going to find the complement. And we know that the complement is equal to the target minus the num. And this is where it's going to get a little confusing where we kind of have to do it backwards. We need to check if our map, which is currently empty, contains our complement. So we're going to say if the num index has, this is just going to check and see if uh, there's a value in there that matches our complement. And if this is true, it's going to execute this logic. And our logic is that that's the result. So we know that our result uh, at position zero, because we just need to return indices, is equal to our num index. And we need to get the indice where uh, the complement is our key. Awesome. And our second result is our current indice. Oops. One equals i. Great. For simplicity's sake, let's console log this out so we can see our results. And let's return result. And remember how I said we have to go backwards? It's outside of this if statement where if we're on our first item of the array, it's not going to be part of the map because there's nothing in the map. We need to add it to the map if it is not currently in the, sorry, we have to add it to the map if the complement does not exist in the map. So we're going to take our map, we're going to write set and use the num and i. This will add them to our map so we can search it our next time around. And we're going to return a result. Awesome. Let's double check, make sure we don't have any errors, and let's try it out. Let's save it first. Awesome. And we have the right answer. We know that 9 is equal to 2 plus 7. 2 is in position 1. 7 is in position 3. Thanks so much for watching and like and subscribe for more.